You see these on test day, what's the right answer? Well, what if I told you in the question stem, there were some changes in the composition of the fungal cell membrane? Well, that would point to drugs that interfere with algosterol, which is the key fungal membrane sterile. And what if I were to tell you that they inhibit liver cytochrome P450 dependent metabolism of drugs? Well, that would be classic for azoles. And so we put those together, then we know the new drug is behaving like an azole antifungal. And so our answer is going to be itraconazole. So the mechanism of itraconazole is that azoles inhibit fungal 14 alpha demethylase. That is a CYP450 enzyme. And so you decrease the conversion of lenestrol to ergosterol, and that causes defective cell membrane synthesis. That's how it works. Amphocytarin B, that binds ergosterol and it forms pores. That one's pretty intense, pore forming. It causes membrane leakage, and it's not known for major CYP450 inhibition. So. That's why it's not amphocytarin B. Caspofungin, that's an echinocandidin, and it inhibits beta-1,3 glucan synthesis. And that is a part of the fungal cell wall, not the membrane. What about flucytosine? Well, that's converted to 5-FU in fungi. And this inhibits DNA and RNA synthesis. So that's not going to be associated with the membrane. So it's not flucytosine. And lastly, griseofulvin. That disrupts the microtubules and mitosis, and importantly, this is a CYP inducer, not inhibitor. So it's the opposite of what we're looking for. Hopefully that helped you understand the differences. Amphocytarin B being a pore forming, causing membrane leakage, not CYP450, caspofungin, inhibiting beta-1,3 glucan synthesis, glucidazine being a DNA and RNA synthesis inhibitor, and then griseofulvin being a CYP inducer. I like to remember A for a lot of drug interactions. SIT450 inhibition, and this AFAX ergosterol synthesis. We'll see you guys in the next video.